G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I'm here with Elisma and we're going to minister to 10 people. If you would also like to receive ministry, uh, just like these 10 people on the list, you can put your name in the comments and I will schedule you. So right now I'm about four, five days ahead with the names, then the, the posts. So, but if you put your name in just a little bit patient, you'll get a ministry. <laughs> All right, so I want to start the minister to Arthur. Uh, so Arthur, uh, the Lord showed me how you've been faithful over a long, long time and how the Lord has uh, positioned you as a gatekeeper. Uh, he's also made you to be a, a coach and a trainer and someone that can help and encourage other people. And I actually see that you're going to elevate a lot of people. You're going to take a lot of people that are struggling and going to help them, give them some of your wisdom and they're going to rise up and they're going to do something with their lives because of your influence. And so the Lord is not only promoting you, but the Lord is also helping you to promote others. God bless you, Arthur. I mean, next word is for Jeanette. Jeanette, I see you standing at the, at the bottom of the mountain and it's you want to get up top there, but it's like almost like something is grabbing you at the back and it's pulling you back and it's pulling you back. It's like a rope. It's like actually like a rope that's pulling you back. And, and as you try to get up, it's pulling you back. And then God says you need to cut that rope. Um, you need to cut. It's a... It's a it's a, a, a soul tie you have with someone, it's an un, ungodly soul tie you have with someone because it's, it's keeping you back. So you need to focus on where God wants you because He wants you on the top of the mountain because He wants you to see more. He wants to open up your vision. He wants to give you a wider um, 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 vision of where you need to be and what He wants to give to you. So in, in the spirit, you need to go cut off that soul tie. You will know who that soul tie is with because that person is... is, is um, um, not encouraging you, not speaking life over you. So just cut that off in the spirit and just go where God wants you to go. Because I see there's lots of things. And I see many buildings where God wants to, He wants to use you in these many buildings. He wants you to be a vessel for Him. But you need to cut off from people that is, is, is just holding you back because He wants you to grow spiritually and He wants you to grow in this area where He wants to use you in different areas. And I see, uh, I, I really feel it's a woman, woman, ministry and the children's ministry where you are going to um, help other people be blessed. Hey, awesome uh, Jeanette, uh, I have a lot of appreciation uh, for you uh, so uh, what happened in 2004, we had a massive hurricane that came to where we live and uh, there was no place for us to stay and the police drove up and down the streets, everybody got a vacate, so me and Claire locked the house, we put boards on all our windows and then we got in the car and we started driving and uh, we, uh, also my cousin was visiting, and so, and we had, um, Amy was still small, and so we were driving, and uh, we stopped at probably 10 uh, inns, and we couldn't find a place where to stay. And uh, I remembered that Jeanette, they were li living in an area where Tallahassee is, and uh, we phoned them just to say, do you know where we can go? And then they said, no, just come and stay with us. <laughs> and so then the hurricane, continued maybe three days or so and so we I mean they were not prepared for us and I mean the shops is closed we in a storm no and we just came there to their house and uh, then they um, we were there in the house with um, uh, Jeanette and and then her husband um, and they loved uh, Star Trek so we have to watch <laughs> <laughs> we watch Star Trek together yeah. <laughs> anyway now I've never watched one episode of any Star Trek so yeah so it was that was interesting but it was uh, it's a fun memory. Uh, so awesome, Jeanette. Thank you. Uh, love and appreciate you. So uh, the next word is for Lani. Lani, I see how you, you're always busy and you want to do something for God and you want to be faithful. But I see how the Lord kind of just stops you a little bit and says, I want you to come and worship and soak in my presence and enjoy to be with me. And I see how the Lord is making everything around you beautiful. And the Lord showed me that out of that presence and out of that beauty, there the fruitfulness and the strategies and the opportunities and the plans will flow out. And so the Lord says, it's not going to flow out, out of you wanting to change the world and using your own strength to accomplish things. But it's going to come out of that place of staying by the, the throne of God in His presence, worshipping, soaking in His presence. And I just see from that point, the Lord launches you and He uses you. Okay. 
Lonnie the Lord, Lord loves you very much. He appreciates all your effort. <laughs> I just felt that the Lord said, just come into his rest. He's going to use you in a, in a much power, more powerful way. God bless you. I mean, next word is for Kerry. Um, Gary, I see you standing and then there's a big eagle just flies that flies over you and you hear those sounds and, and it's, there's just so much that's going on in your life and through this God says he's going to strengthen you, he's going to give you the boldness of an eagle um, with the way you minister, with the way you move, with the way you talk to people, he's going to really lift you up in this area where, where there's, you're going to be um, fierce and there's going to be um, really uh, like strength, I feel that God is just going to strengthen you in this area where where you do not have to be afraid and where you can just move forward um, because you're doing a really wonderful work for the Lord and you're moving for the Lord but but there's sometimes doubts doubts that come in and God says it's time to let those doubts go go because he is your strength and he is going to move you forward so just let go let go and let God just move um, mightily in your in, in your life be blessed Hey, Kerry, um, you are very faithful to God and he really has a, a big appreciation for your faithfulness because that's why he gives you assignments yes. because you've been faithful with the other ones. All right, God bless you. So the next one is for Chris. All right, uh, so Chris, the Lord shows me that you are a problem solver uh, and that the Lord has made you to practically look at things uh, and he's giving you wisdom. And where some people would just go and pray for hours and intercede and the Lord will give them a vision. I just see how you go into a situation and you are led by the Spirit of God and He gives you the solution and the wisdom and you and you help people. And so the Lord says He, he is very pleased with you. And I see even in your own life how the Lord gives you practical solutions how to uh, balance the budget. So I saw a budget was not balanced meaning there's more expenses than there's income and i felt that the lord is going to give you a strategy how to either decrease the the expenses or to increase the income but to get that that budget so it's in the green uh, and uh, you can walk in a blessing of god and you don't have that constant pressure uh, of the finances and then um this is one second i wrote well okay then the Lord talked to me about a healthy lifestyle. All right? So I don't know if you are someone that do eat healthy and exercise a lot. But I really felt that the Lord wants you to work on that in your life. He wants you to be healthy. He wants you to be strong. He, he's giving you a long life. And He wants you to be there for your family also. And accomplish uh, and fulfill the purpose He has for you. And in order to do it. It's important for you to eat healthy, drink enough water, sleep enough, um, and to, to exercise. And I just felt the Lord is encouraging in, in that area. Um, oh, and then I felt that the Lord is saying, you need to speak God's word over your family, over your children, over your wife, over your mom and dad. Just declare God's word over them. You, the Lord is giving you a position as a spiritual leader. And so you have authority to speak over them. God bless you. I mean, next word is for Louise. Louise, I see you, you're sitting with a, this big sign, signage board in front of you and there's there's so many things written on there. There's lies and rejection and depression and, and all of these things written on there. And then God, God just comes and He takes it and He takes Jesus' blood and He wipes that sign clear and it's white. It's just white. There's nothing on it. And that's what God wants to tell you today. He says it's time to start over. It's time to leave the past behind. It's time to take off all those labels yes. that the enemy has placed on, on, on you and it's time to stand what God says over your life. And what God says over your life is you are His daughter and that you are, are, are clean, washed, white as snow with Jesus' blood. So you need to walk in that place of repentance you need to walk in that place of i am a child of god and i'm clean and i'm washed clean by the blood of jesus you need to you need to dress you need to cloth yourself with with jesus's blood you need to cloth yourself with the mind of christ so that you can declare scriptures over you and declare what the god what god says over your life because it's good things um, plans to prosper you and, and and so just be lifted up in the word of god go write scriptures down that is uplifting that is encouraging so that when the enemy comes with his lies you can just wipe it off and you can say no but god says this but god says this but god says this because you were created for a beautiful life for it and and the enemy wants to destroy things in your life and we break that down in the name of jesus because you are, 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 are a strong woman a godly woman and that is what you will be from 
today forward. In Jesus' name, I bless you. Hey, Luis, that was a fantastic word, hey? Uh, awesome. All right, so Johnson Anderson. Uh, the Lord shows me the gifts and the talents that He has given to you in your life. And it's as if you haven't always been in an environment where that talents and gifts of yours could come to fruition. It's like you're in a dry place. And now the Lord is planting you in a very fertile environment. And I saw this black ground with the earthworms in there and the manure. And so it's smelly and um, it, it's not necessarily feels perfectly clean. Um, but it's a place where you can thrive and you can grow and you can produce. And so I just felt that the Lord says, if you say, oh, wow, the place where I am right now, it's probably not the most holiest of places and everything is not nicely in line. I felt that the Lord says, that's exactly where I wanted you. And that's where I want you to let your light shine. Now, you know, God says in a, in a word that we shine our light in the midst of darkness. So we don't go where there's light and shine our light there. We go where there's darkness and we shine our light there. And so sometimes you're going to find yourself surrounded by people that are lost and they are in darkness and the Lord is calling you there to shine your light and that's the place where you're going to have boldness and you're going to flourish and you're going to be fruitful in the kingdom of God. God bless you. Amen. Next word is for Tricky. Tricky, I see you're putting on a shirt with buttons and, and some of the buttons don't work um, properly. It's, it's those push buttons. When you push it, it closes, but then it opens up again. And you're so worried about these buttons and, and, and you know, you're so consumed about these buttons that you're not concentrating on what's really happening before you because you have a shirt on and it's beautiful and it goes with the outfit. So God wants you to focus on the bigger picture. He wants you to focus on, on the bigger things and not the small things because the small things things takes your attention away from what God is doing bigger things he wants you to focus on the on the small good blessings that he's giving to you uh, on, on the on the blessings that he's giving to you and not on the small things that is interrupting it so that you can um, it's almost like you know when you have a problem you don't want to focus on the problem but you focus on God that can fix the problem you focus on God and what he can do in your life so that you can know but okay I have a shirt I'm grateful for my shirt so what if the button goes up a little, little bit I have a shirt because God God speaks differently into your life because we, we sometimes want to be perfect in this world, but we cannot be perfect. Yeah. Only, you know, only Jesus was perfect that walked on this world. So just be you, be you and be comfortable with who you are. Be comfortable with who you are so that you can just go into that relaxed mode. And from that, you will flow more joy, more joy into your family and just let it go. I'm me, myself, I'm also all the way. It's like, I want things to be perfect. I want things to be this. So just breathe and let it go because you're doing great. You are doing great. You're a good woman. You're a good mother. You're a good wife. So just, just speak that over yourself and just let go a bit. Because the Holy Spirit moves in different ways. The Holy Spirit moves in your life just like He should. So just let the Holy Spirit take over things in your life and, and stop trying to control everything. Um, yeah, be blessed. Yeah, um, Dirkie, um, it's 100% what Elisma is saying. Uh, I think Paul talked about broken vessels. And you know, if you look at the broken vessel, it's not perfect, it's actually broken. Mm -hmm. But out of that is where the glory yes. of God flows out. And so um, all of us has <laughs> things that happened in our lives that cause us to be broken. But uh, the beauty of our life in Jesus is that in, in spite of the brokenness in our lives, we can still be used with Him. And that's why God is glorified. Because God says, how impossible, how on earth can someone that's so broken still causes so much glory to flow out of them. And that's that's why God uses us. Some of the most broken people are some of the most effective ministers in the kingdom of God. And then sometimes some of the perfect people <laughs> don't always have success because they try to do things in their own strength. And so that's why we have to kind of rely on God. Uh, God bless you, Dricky. Uh, so John, the Lord has called you as a leader and He is building your character. But I felt that the Lord says that your, your connections in life can't be just God and your parents. It has to be a network of people that God placed in your life. And so you'll find maybe a church, there's people that you connect with in your area, your field, your career. You connect with people that can teach you or a work situation or finance situation with your exercise, maybe in your social life. There's different people that the Lord is putting around you in your team so that you can fulfill what God has called you. And I felt that the Lord says, by yourself, Although you're a very gifted, strong leader by yourself, you're not going to do anything. But in a team, in an environment of a group of people, 
that the Lord gives to you and he networks you with, you're going to accomplish a lot of things. If you just think about a leader, a leader is not by himself. A, a person that's by himself can't call himself a leader because he's leading no one, you know. So you're going to have to be around people. And that's felt that the Lord says, just get out a little bit, just like you kick the bird out of the nest and then the bird needs to fly, I felt you need to just get out a little bit and connect with the people that God has given to you. And you'll see, if you pray, the Lord will open up doors for you. God bless you, John. I mean, next word is for Alexia. Um, I see you sitting against this wall on the stand table and you are sitting with your hands in your hair and you don't know what because you're looking for an answer. You're looking for an answer about what to do, um, you know, where to go, the next move. And then, but it's almost like you're looking you know, against this wall and you're facing this wall and and then but what God says you need to change your view you need to change your perspective because when you turn your chair around there was God sitting on a bigger so like almost like an office desk and he was sitting there with all the advice that you need with all the answers that you need and I see he's got a bag we're filled with Finance, filled with money in it also so it's, it's a bag that he wants to give to you but you need to change your perspective you need to change your view you need to change uh, where you are viewing because you're facing a wall you're facing and, and it's like if you you at a point where you are just against a brick wall so change that and I feel that you need to also move in a place of faith and I pray that you your faith is being lifted up in the name of Jesus because that's why we tell testimonies testimony yeah. means you can do it again and therefore he will do it for you also yeah. he, he's caused a lot of breaks for people he caused a lot of changes in people's lives and you need a change right now and turn to God turn to him turn for advice turn to the Holy Spirit let him speak into your life stop listening to other people um, um, you know other people's opinions other people's advice because God's advice is higher than our ways it's uh, higher than his thoughts is higher than our thoughts so turn to him and allow your spirit just to be open so that he can just pour into your life pour that blessings into your life pour that finances into your life because I see when you face this way it's like really dark and heavy but the minute we turned your chair it's light and it's life and it's joy so just turn that god is waiting for you and and he's got a good plan for your life be blessed yeah. alexa um i agree with elisma uh, i felt also the place where you are you feel but i don't fit yes. and i just see how the lord gives you an adapter you know when you get like a iphone cable and you have a s-type cable and now the two doesn't want to you get a little adapter and you plug it in on the one side and then it works and I felt that the Lord says, he, he is your adapter. He's going to help you to fit there where you are. But He doesn't want you to move away. That's the place where He has you. And He's planting you and you'll grow and prosper. So, God bless you, Alexia. Hey, family. So it was wonderful for me and Elisma to minister to you. Uh, I want to remind you, I've got another YouTube channel called Unity with Heaven, uh, where you can get some teachings. Uh, and I think it's awesome teachings i enjoy the teaching so i want to encourage you go and check it out um and then elisma also have a, a channel so elisma tell us about your channel thank you thank you for um it, it's such a blessing to minister to you so my channel is god first ggk for glorifying god's kingdom where i do um short videos a little bit longer videos where i do you know encourage people i teach people i love the holy spirit i love the work of the lord i i worship sometimes with flags um so that's what i do so that so that is on YouTube and I've, I'm also on, on Facebook on my personal account Elisma van der Royen and on a Facebook page where I share things that, that, that is uplifting and um, building people and just really teach the ways of the Lord. Yeah. Hey, awesome. So I'm going to ask Elisma to just put in the comments, uh, just go and post or yeah, paste the links. So if you want to go and look at her channel or connect with her on Facebook, uh, then you can do that. Um, all right, so family, we love and appreciate each one of you. Um, I want to remind you on Monday evenings and Friday evenings, we minister live. You can join us. Uh, or if you would like to receive a word like this, just write your name in the comments and I'll schedule you. God bless you. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.